trying to figure out how to get these injectors out without um, without removing the top off. Um, and some of them I might have to remove the top off. I don't know. It's um, it's, it, it's just one of them things with these motors. Um, I have it uh, WD-40 or PD Blaster. It's been uh, sitting for about 10 minutes. Um, I have the kit that lets you take the top off. Um, and what I did was I figured, well, I, I'll give it a shot. And it actually ended up working. So um, for anybody that this works for, great. Um, so what you do is you put the... Um, and I actually came up with this idea because it wasn't, you can see, like, it don't want to go on. So, um, I might have to set the camera down for a second. Hold on one second. Okay, now it's in there. And as you tap there, now you're vibrating that whole assembly. You know, you don't got to be, you don't want to be, uh, real... You know, this is a, a bo auto body hammer. It doesn't need to be a mallet. You don't want a mallet. You just want, and you want it to be metal because for some reason, metal and metal makes it vibrate more. A dead blow mallet won't give you that same like vibration. And you just keep tapping at it for a while. You just keep tapping at it. Keep tapping at it. Let that, um, let the uh, the WD-40 work its way around. Let it get down into uh, the um, cylinder wall of the uh, injector. All right, I think I might have tapped on it a little longer last time, but then you put, oh, hang out. Do it just one-handed. All right, so you put the breaker bar on it. And you turn it, now it's, now the, um, uh, you turn it more, you want to break the metal part or the plastic part of the connector. So we're going to go back. See that moving? See that movement there? We go this way again. We'll go back. And now this is where you got to. This is where you got to play with it. You got to play with it. And you see that? See that movement there? That's what you want. You want that movement. You want that. That to loosen up, loosen all that fucking carbon up, all that fucking bullshit. Such a pain in the fucking ass. And this whole, this whole assembly is fucking, is, is thin. It's basically like plastic. I, I, I was using a, my little screwdriver on this thing and it slipped and hit that and fucking broke. So you gotta be careful when you're doing it. It, it didn't, you know, it's fine. It's still usable. It's not like I went through it. I've seen some people go through it all. All right, so now, now you got that, now you got that in. Now, work that way out. Gotta work it out. Keep shaking it, keep shaking it. Sometimes, put the, the socket back on. Shit, I don't even know if you saw me pulling on that. I was focusing on, on it, not the camera. You can see it's off the ball now. And then what you want to do um, is fucking take a break. <laughs> that's what you want to do. Uh, that's kind of the hardest part. But um, you might have to put the breaker back bar, go back and forth on it, go back and forth on it with a little, a little, just a regular wrench um and maybe pry it a little bit with a screwdriver um and yeah that's uh randomly just figured i would try it because i had to i had to get the hammer to bang that on and then i'm banging i'm like you know what i'm shaking that and then i decided put the breaker bar on it and then i turned it i'm like well let me go back the other way and it broke just like you saw there on the video it did that on number one too so they say two is a hard one and four is a hard one so if this works for both of them now granted look at my engine this engine, this has been sitting over a year. That's been, that's a year. Not on. It's not like I had it on yesterday and the engine's still warm or anything. This has been a year it's been sitting, not running after the fire. So injector three has been pretty tough, but I think what might work, as you can see, get in there with a flathead and make sure you don't have any of that carbon build up there by the hold down. Because that hold down is what kind of starts the motion and if it's carbon on both sides and it can't move, that I'm hoping is most of the issue. And then I'll be able to get it um, loosened up enough to start pulling on it. All right, little update. I got these uh, four and five been soaking with PB Blaster for a couple hours. Three, 
three stuck. I can't get it out. I gotta, I gotta do the, the rest of the way and I can't figure out where my stud's at. But anyway, as you can see here, I just put this on and hit it with the hammer. And now, if you look there, you keep this on and you kind of wiggle it out. See that? Look at all that gunk. This ain't no joke. It's crazy. I, I came up with something that finally works out good, right? <laughs> So we'll do, so that was, um, uh, I let it sit with PB Blaster for about an hour, cleaned it up with the little flathead, vacked it. Um, see, I gotta vacuum all that other, look at all that shit back there, man. I'll vacuum that out and then start working on number five. All right, I got the screw out. They're here in five. Now I'm just gonna, Clean up. There's a lot of buildup back there. It's kind of not really easy to get to. I'm gonna clean up there around the edges of that hold down. some of that out. tricky part here definitely for that, that last one I would I'm gonna um, I don't think I can do all this I gotta get my GoPro I guess um, I guess it is more This is kind of the tricky part. Sometimes it's like not quite lined up right. You gotta line it up. I think that's a new sensor. Come on. This one's in there too. That's the only time when it's when it don't want to start moving, it really I'm gonna have to pull with I gotta put my phone down. 